Hi there. Good morning. It is Thursday. It is the 17th. Yep, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, mm -hmm. of April, and uh, we're on the eve of a long weekend. We are, yeah, Easter weekend. A lot of folks will be heading out to churches and also out to candy stores and mm -hmm. uh, all the, mm -hmm. the Easter buddies coming, so it's going to be it's going to be a busy weekend. Now, before we get more into the weekend details, let's take a quick look at your current temperatures. It's a cool start to the day, not as cold as it was yesterday. Yesterday at this time, we were sitting at about minus 7, so a huge warm-up in comparison. Now, speaking of... Of Easter candies. Yeah. I went out last weekend and bought, you know, bags full of mini Pigment eggs and jelly beans and those little eggs that kind of like melt in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go again today. There you go. That's the hazard of doing I, like, it. I just, I can't, I, if I know it's in my house, it is gone. I well, eat it you and shouldn't. I eat it fast and I eat it early in the day. Like I'll get home from work today at like 11 and I'll just eat like a pile of chocolate. You should keep it in the trunk of your vehicle. That won't help, Tom. I'll put my shoes on and I will go and get oh, it. Boy. <laughs> it makes no difference. Well, I, put, I have this much willpower. Next I've time, give, give it nothing. to me next time. No, because you'll eat it. No. Yeah. I've got a whole drawer full right now. Tom, did I just meet you? Like, are you I went new? To, I went to I went to I went to uh, Laura Secord yesterday. Mm, see. I couldn't do that. It was busy. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> oh, well, these ducks are getting ready for Easter. Oh, no, they're geese. We can full details on that just ahead, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Thank you very much. No traffic. Nope, nothing. It's gone. Everything's clear. Okay, let's get out there and have a look at the highways. Right now, we do have... Well, we are going to be seeing some rain tomorrow, but it's not going to be an all-day washout. It is going to be fairly gloomy, but it's not going to be wet until the afternoon. Saturday, Sunday look fantastic. We're seeing sunshine, temperatures getting closer to seasonal values. By Monday, slight risk of a few showers into Tuesday, especially through the Hamilton. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. It is the 17th of April. Temperatures yesterday, frigid. Temperatures today, getting warmer. And into the long weekend, the Easter Bunny is going to have a good time hiding all those Easter eggs. No horseshoes. Uh, no snowshoes, not horseshoes. No snowshoes. That's what I was trying to say. The Easter Bunny does not need snowshoes this weekend in southern Ontario. I think he needs horseshoes. Uh, well, he might need horseshoes. You might need, I need horseshoes. I think you need some coffee. <laughs> I need coffee. Yeah, it's you know some mornings it takes a while for the brain to connect with the mouth. Have you noticed that? Well, for me, no. I'm I'm actually kind of perfect. <laughs> for you, <laughs> I say nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, well, let's take a look at our current temperatures. <laughs> oh, we're sitting at one right now. That solar loading is going to feel pretty good out there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be an amazing day. Mm -hmm. Now, tomorrow we are expecting some rain, and the rain is certainly going to add a few more problems to areas that are seeing flooding. Now, yeah. we're lucky that we're, I mean, our advisories are low. You know, I'm surprised. I really am, because on the, based on the amount of snow we had and the amount of ice we had, I was surprised. I know there's been some flooding, mm -hmm. certainly in mm -hmm. Belleville mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. up in the Quartus. Mm -hmm. We've had some as well. But uh, it's not as bad as I thought it might have been. Well, if you're living in the Corthes, you're probably thinking the opposite. You're thinking it's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandbagging going on yesterday. Now, we'll talk about the forecast Saturday and Sunday. Looks amazing. Details just ahead. But first, Tom, how are the roads this morning? Okay, well, we do have some rain on the way, but not today. And it's going to be for tomorrow, and it's not going to be a lot of rain. We've got this area of low pressure that's tracking its way north and east. It will bring in some cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow. And then about mid-afternoon, that's when we're going to start to see the shower. So a fairly gloomy, kind of gray day. But by the weekend, the sunshine returns. Saturday, Sunday look fantastic. Late day Sunday, we are expecting to see a few isolated showers and then more pronounced rain throughout the day on Monday for the City of Toronto. Are you itching for a long, sunny weekend? Well, we are going to be seeing temperatures return to more seasonal values. Yay, I think that's making everybody happy. Mind you, we do have a little bit of wet weather on the way. Rain for tomorrow, daytime high of 10 degrees. It's not going to be an all-day washout, but it is certainly going to be kind of a gloomy, overcast day with showers in the afternoon. Now, by Saturday and Sunday, we look amazing. Temperatures returning to exactly where they should be for this time of year, and that trend will continue right into the middle of next week. This trend... Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. It is the 17th of April. It is a much milder start today than it was yesterday, and we're going to see some sunshine. A good day for someone who's retiring. Yeah, Dave Woodford. Uh, Sergeant Dave Woodford from the OPP retiring as of today. Today's his last day. 
Uh, he has um, going to retire after 30 years from the OPD. He's been being our media officer for a number of years now, and he sold his motor. He sold his house. He's got a motor home, and he and his wife are going traveling over Good North for America for, them. for the next two years. So oh. they're, they're going. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Well, congratulations, Dave. There Thank you, go, you Dave. so much for all of your years of service and all the help that you've given us, yeah. especially this guy, because you know Absolutely. he needs it. Absolutely. <laughs> we love you, Dave. <laughs> we do. Have, have a good trip. Turn your phone off. <laughs> yeah. Tom will call you. Yeah, I might call you. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at our current temperatures. We are seeing at... Looking at 10 degrees. Very nice temperatures with a little bit of sun, which is great. And even though we are going to be seeing some rain tomorrow, mm -hmm. the weekend looks amazing. The Easter Bunny is going to have a great time with all the eggs. Oh, yeah. I'm so I'm so looking forward. I'm gonna Me I'm just gonna I'm just gonna phone my uh, granddaughter in a few minutes to just say the Easter Bunny's coming. It's so exciting. I love that. It is exciting. Yeah. Uh, okay, well these geese are thrilled about the Easter Bunny. I'm sure. <laughs> All those details are coming up just ahead in your long range. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, don't mind the rain tomorrow. It's not gonna last all day. It is gonna be uh, uh, showers at best through the afternoon. Temperatures warming up to more seasonal values. Look at the weekend. How amazing is that? 10, 11 degrees. Easter Monday, if you do have that off, it is a beauty day in Hamilton. But we are going to be seeing that chance of showers. We do have another system coming in. So even late day Sunday, we can start to see some rain moving through and then continuing throughout the day on Monday. But temperatures staying seasonal. Flood advisories have been in place for weeks in New Brunswick, and yesterday the waters rose. Coming up, we'll tell Now, Emily has a great example of a forecast right now, the egg jewel. Really, Tom? Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that was one of your worst ones yet. <laughs> I was going to say, I have an exceptional forecast. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, today we are going to be seeing some sunshine. We've got that southerly flow, so temperatures are going to be warming up. This system is going to bring us some cloud cover and some showers eventually throughout the day on Friday, but it's not going to be a complete washout. We're just not going to see a lot of sunshine until Saturday and Sunday, a fantastic weekend in store. Temperatures. This weather segment has. Well, we are on the eve of a long weekend, and it looks great forecast wise. We are going to see a few showers well, throughout the day tomorrow, mostly in the afternoon, but by Saturday and Sunday, the forecast looks amazing. Perfect for sitting down with a nice big bag of mini eggs. All I've been talking about this morning is mini eggs and how I am so addicted to mini eggs. If you share in my addiction, if you share in my problem, please tweet me and let me know that I am not alone in my mini egg addiction. It's not good. Kevin Yar is going to be joining us at Spring Ridge this morning. Such a great place. And uh, arriving to the farm at the crack of dawn and finding this in the barn. Egbert say it ain't so. Egbert say it ain't so. <laughs> Poor Egbert. Don't worry, he'll be feeling good in just a few minutes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, since it is Thursday, it is time now for Around the World and 80 Seconds with Kim McDonald. I'm going to take all of these. Sounds good. <laughs> I can't even believe how jealous I am I of Kevin know. right now. If you had smell vision, you'd smell I... all kinds of new baked pies and, and rolls oh, and, and croissants. croissants and and it's just, it's and such a lovely place. And... Just sit there and eat all day. Honestly, Spring Ridge good is probably soups. one of my most favorite locations. Yeah, I, you I can spent... shop, you can look at animals, you can eat. Take wagon rides. Oh. And the reason it's called Spring Ridge, by the way, there are seven springs that feed onto that property from that ridge. Oh. Did you know that? That's why it's called I did springs. not. Yeah, there's I'm not seven, surprised you did, though. Seven freshwater springs feed that property, and they grow all their own uh, produce and all their own berries and things like that. Mm, now mm. you know. Yeah. All right, well, yesterday was a great day to spend at Spring Ridge Farm. We'll talk about that in a moment, but first, <laughs> here's Tom. I'm laughing. Well, we are going to be seeing some rain moving in tomorrow, so enjoy today while we have it, that nice southerly flow warming our temperatures up. Tomorrow, this cold front is going to bring in quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the morning and then the showers developing by about midday, early afternoon. It's not going to be a complete washout, but it is going to be kind of a gray and gloomy day. Saturday and Sunday, however, look fantastic. Late day Sunday, we may see a few isolated showers moving in, setting up for more consistent rainfall throughout the day on Monday. Looks great. The Easter Bunny is going to be a happy animal this weekend. We've got sunshine and temperatures exactly where they should be. Now, tomorrow we are going to be seeing a little bit of rain. We do have a cold front that's moving through the area. It is going to give us some cloud cover, so kind of a gloomy start to the weekend, but Saturday and Sunday look fantastic. Late day Sunday, we may see a few isolated showers getting us into Monday where we're going to see some more consistent oh. <laughs> Look at you, Amy. And you got Kiki here, the rabbit. And uh, tell, us, tell us about your Easter festival here at uh, Spring Ridge. Hello. 
Emily, Emily just said, who is she riding on? I, she, I said, she is, she is the chicken. She's actually in the costume. Those are fake legs. Who is she riding on? Anyway, there you go. Oh, she my fool, goodness. She fools children and children alike. Okay. <laughs> she can't talk. I can't keep it together. No, no. We're going to oh. we're going to Quartha Lake. Seriously, we are. We are. We're going to serious okay. Quartha Lake. No, I'm good. Flooding. Flooding. Flooding has certainly been an issue through the Quarthas, and you can see the firefighters getting sandbags ready. Uh, it is still going to be wet, nonetheless, certainly not helping the situation. Now that I've gotten back my composure, I'm going to turn things over to Tommy as an update. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> who, 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 is, who is she riding on? She's. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, we are going to be seeing some showers throughout the day tomorrow. Today, sunshine, enjoy it. We've got that nice southerly flow. Cloud cover moving in with this cold front throughout the day tomorrow. Showers developing by the afternoon. It's not going to be a complete washout, but it's going to be kind of a gray and gloomy day. Now, by the weekend, amazing forecast for both Saturday and Sunday. Sunshine temperatures getting close to where they should be. Now, late day Sunday, we are going to be seeing increased cloud cover and the chance for a few isolated showers through parts of the GTA. Are you itching for a long, sunny weekend? Well, we were on the eve of a long weekend, and it looks great forecast-wise. We are going to see a few showers well, throughout the day tomorrow, mostly in the afternoon. But by Saturday and Sunday, the forecast looks amazing. Perfect for sitting down with a nice big bag of mini eggs. All I've been talking about this morning is mini eggs and how I am so addicted to mini eggs. If you share in my addiction, if you share in my problem, please tweet me and let me know that I am not alone in my mini egg addiction. It's not good. Kevin Yar is going to be joining us at Spring Ridge this morning. Such a great place. And uh, arriving to the farm at the crack of dawn and finding this in the barn, Egbert say it ain't so. Egbert say it ain't so. <laughs> Poor Egbert. Don't worry, he'll be feeling good in just a few minutes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Here's Tom now with traffic. Nine times out of ten, I would not switch places with Kevin yeah. in the morning. But because it's cold or it's raining or it's this or it's that. But today... Hands down, I am jealous of this man's occupation if today. If there's food and animals, you're there, basically, <laughs> is what you're saying. Food well, and animals. Well, yeah, I guess. Two of your, I mean, two of your highlights. Is, that whole Spring Ridge feel, like and the chocolate. shopping and the I've animals chocolate. and the really cool, like, one-of-a-kind yeah. gifts. Like, it's, it's such a unique place. And peacocks. There's peacocks, yeah, there's know. chickens, there's I baby know. chicks, there's bunnies. Well, how and can there's, you go wrong? There's probably some geese, too. There likely would be. <laughs> Spring Ridge activities looks amazing. We'll talk about that in just a few moments, but first, here's Tom with traffic. It looks pretty good. We are seeing a sunny day today. Tomorrow, we'll see increased cloud cover with this approaching system. We are going to be seeing some showers starting about midday, early afternoon. They'll quickly pass through, however, and we'll see some sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday. A great weekend ahead. Shoes, maybe. Possibly not boots. Tomorrow, however, we are expecting some rain, so if you're heading out, rain boots would be in order. We'll see lots of sunshine today, but cloud cover starting to increase as this cold front approaches. By tomorrow morning, we'll be into some cloudy skies, and then by tomorrow afternoon, that's when the rain is going to start to move in. It's really going to be a couple millimeters. It's not a huge rainfall. Behind that, high pressure moves back in, and we're going to be seeing some sunshine, so Saturday and Sunday look fantastic. Late day Sunday, we could see increasing clouds setting up for the showers expected throughout the day on Monday. This traffic report. Okay, I'm gonna go look for some eggs. Back inside of the studio, we're live at Spring Ridge Farm. Do I have to hop? I have to hop. hop. hop, hop. I hope he hops away. Oh, I think I just stepped on one. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. That just made not I, only my day I, but my week. Oh man. I mean, I wore pink, but that's ridiculous. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, Kevin. Please tell me we yeah. are going to capture video of that and no. we are going to save pictures of that, screenshots. Oh, we are going to use that for years. We could use that for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, very cute. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. Okay. Today, seven and sunny. Uh, it's good news for Kevin, who's jumping on his <laughs> suit. I hope he stays in it all day. <laughs> But the weekend looks amazing, and I've got all those details coming up, and I'm trying to get the image of Kevin dressed in a bunny suit out of my head, and it just doesn't work. Here's Tom with traffic. Yeah. I love how his ears were kind of like mangled, too, like they weren't straight.
feet. I guess they're supposed to be kind of floppy, but his look more mangled. <laughs> okay, enough. Sunshine today. Uh, we do have a system coming through. This is going to bring us rain throughout the day tomorrow, but don't fret. The entire weekend is not going to be ruined by this system. After tomorrow, we return to sunshine and mild-ish conditions. This is kind of close to where we should be for this time of year. So Saturday and Sunday look great. We do, in fact, however, have some rain on the way for a Monday and Tuesday. Well, we are on the eve of a long weekend, and it looks great forecast-wise. We are going to see a few showers well, throughout the day tomorrow, mostly in the afternoon. But by Saturday and Sunday, the forecast looks amazing. Perfect for sitting down with a nice big bag of mini eggs. All I've been talking about this morning is mini eggs and how I am so addicted to mini eggs. If you share in my addiction, if you share in my problem, please tweet me and let me know that I am not alone in my mini egg addiction. It's not good. Emily's going to tell us how great it's going to be. And let's go hippity hop, right? Okay, hippity hop. Back inside to the studio. <laughs> There's so many amazing things about that. Mm -hmm. um, candy corn, chocolate eggs. Face uh, painting, animals, how can you go wrong? pies, cakes, I know. I cookies, know what goes on. jam, sunshine. We're having lunch. turkey. I've just been eating mini eggs like they're... Yes. I don't even know. Yes. <laughs> I can say lots of inappropriate mini things. Mini eggs are disappearing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fast at my house. Now, there'll be no egg hunt at your house. No, poor Because Brooklyn. you'll eat them all. Poor, poor Brooklyn. Brooklyn will be crying <laughs> in the middle of the floor. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Mommy ate all my eggs. <laughs> Awful. Get out of here. <laughs> Forecast in just a few moments. And I would never do that to my daughter. In fact, Tom, I only give her jelly beans, not chocolate. So there. <laughs> That's not nice, Tom. Chocolate, definitely. I have an addiction. Jelly beans, I can, you know, hand over to others. All right. Well, we do have a cold front moving in that is going to bring us some cloud cover showers throughout the day tomorrow. But after that, high pressure moves back in and the weekend. Take a quick look. Looks amazing. Well, we are going to be seeing some rain throughout the day tomorrow, but temperatures will really start to rebound. We're going to get up to a daytime high of 10. The weekend looks amazing. We've got sunshine and temperatures that are set to be seasonal. Now, for Saturday, we're looking at 12 degrees. Sunday, a little bit warmer through Hamilton. We may see quite a bit of cloud cover late day and a few isolated showers, possibly through the overnight, setting us up for more consistent rain throughout Monday. But the good news in this forecast, yes, we're going to see sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday, but the warm air, yeah, the spring-like temperatures, that trend continues right into the middle of next week. Hi there. Thanks so much, Jacqueline, for that high pressure. We've got some this weekend, and I'll talk about that in just a few moments. It's Thursday. It is the 17th of April. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been having such a good time here at the Weather Network this morning. Reason being, Kevin Yard joins us from Spring Ridge Farm, and he is in a bunny suit. Kevin, you have not only made my day, hey, but probably my week. <laughs> Look good, Gavin? Yes. I do. I, I'm stuck in this costume. Okay. Good, Kevin. That is exactly what you should be wearing all weekend long. <laughs> Entertaining children everywhere. Okay, well, we do have sunshine today, which is good news, but we are going to be seeing a bit of a damper in our weekend forecast. Tomorrow for Good Friday, we do have rain moving through. It's going to bring in a lot of cloud cover, give us a bit of a gloomy day. But by Saturday and Sunday, the forecast improves. High pressure moves in, giving us some sunshine and mild temperatures. Flooding is certainly being an issue for many Canadian cities, and that's just a few of the most expensive ones. Now, we do have some rain on the way to kick off this weekend, and I'll talk about that in just a few moments. But first, it is Thursday. It is the 17th of April. We're kicking off a long weekend. All right. Nice job, Kevin. The bunny totally beat you, though. Beautiful weekend ahead. We have got sunshine in the forecast. Thanks so much for that, Kim. Good morning, and thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday. It is April the 17th, and we are going to see some sunshine today. That will help in the preparations for the upcoming rain. Seasonal, that's good news. But this cold front is going to bring increased cloud cover and showers. Today looks great. Sunshine, mild-ish temperatures. Tomorrow, wet weather. It's going to be a fairly gloomy day. It's not a lot of rain. There's not a lot of moisture associated with it. But still, at this point, in flooded areas, any amount of rain is harmful. 
10 and 11 for Saturday and Sunday. Lots of sunshine. Then I'll give a few places a chance to dry out. And then the rain returns throughout the day on Monday. How cute is Natalie's little girl? Her and my little girl, Brooklyn, they're BFFs. They hang out. <laughs> they do stuff. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us here at the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday. It is the 17th of April, and we are going to be seeing a beautiful weekend. We'll talk about our weekend forecast in just a few moments. But first, we need to share this with you. Kevin Yard in a pink bunny suit with floppy ears. Kevin, this has not only made my day, but probably my last month. Oh, thanks, Kevin. I'm not sure that kid kind of looked like he was a bit stuck in there. <laughs> I hope not. All right, cookies. You said something about cookies, Kevin. Bring me back a cookie. Absolutely. All right, temperatures today look good. We're flowers, come spring flowers, and we're going to see some sunshine to dry everything up for Saturday and Sunday. So far, the weekend looks great. Now, late day Sunday and into Monday, we're going to see some cloud cover move in as our next system starts to approach southern Ontario. So we are expecting some wet weather to kick us off next week. But I think the really good news here and something to focus on is that our temperatures are returning to seasonal values and that trend continues right into next week. Heading into the long Easter weekend, it is all about the sunshine all over social media. Uh, sunny Easter makes the flowers grow. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. I feel, I feel like they've been a little delayed. Here's a great shot of Kevin at Spring Ridge Farm this morning having a great time with all of the little baby animals. Their festival is happening this weekend. It'll be great to bring the kids. Hope it's a sunny Easter so that we can get out in the garden. I'm starting to see a little bit of a trend here. And it certainly looks like we're in for a good one this year. Sunny Easter. Like I said, I think we're seeing a trend. Would be fantastic. I have so much work to do in my garden, but I love it. The weather Celebrating our 25th anniversary here at the Weather Network. Make sure you stay with us throughout the day. We've got more gripping stories just like that one. Temperatures today, closer to seasonal than we were yesterday. We're on the eve of a long weekend, and the weekend looks fantastic. Minus tomorrow, and I'll show you all of that coming up in just a few moments. Joining us this morning is Kevin Yard, live from Spring Ridge Farm in Milton. He's been having such a good time. Kevin, what are you up to now? Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, tomorrow we are expected to see some showers, but don't let that ruin your weekend because Saturday and Sunday look fantastic. And the good news is that it looks as though seasonal temperatures are here to stay. And Monday on Hamilton, in, on Monday in Hamilton, we're expecting a high of 17. Coming up, what's really in the long-range forecast? Stay with us for the long-ranger.